<laughs> All right. Let's keep going and let's invite to the stage Tyler Ross. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you very much. Thanks all of you guys for coming out. Good. Now stay. Huh? I'm just kidding. Well, for me, guys, uh, I've been thinking about joining a gang. No, wait. I've been getting high and watching Gangland. That's what I meant. Yeah. And I found that my favorite gang is the Asian boys. Because they're Asian and they're still a gang. Because they're a gang because they go and sell drugs and have guns. But they still fit the Asian stereotype because the show said, even though they often skip school, they all maintain straight A's. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm sure there's nothing more gangster than my son's on the honor roll, bitch! <laughs> I, uh, something interesting about me, I have every kind of brother. Stay with me. Because I have an older brother, I have a younger brother. Because my dad's remarried, I have a half brother and a step brother. Plus, I know a black guy and he calls me fam. <laughs> So we're brothers. <laughs> no, it's weird. Uh, my dad and stepmom just had twins and a little boy and a little girl. That's kind of exciting for some people, right? Don't clap. I don't want you to clap. Stop it. Don't patronize me. But it's weird because my dad's 50. Yeah. And nothing has made me consider getting a vasectomy more. <laughs> and people react differently to babies. Like, whenever I tell my guy friends about it, they're like, dude, if my girlfriend gets pregnant, I would just push her down the stairs. Ha, ha, ha. And that's bad. I would never do that. I would use an escalator. It would be so much faster. <laughs> but whenever I tell like my lady friends about that, they're like, "Oh, I can't wait till I have babies." And I'm like, "Yeah, I can't wait till I get snipped. It's gonna be awesome. I can't wait." <laughs> and they get like offended by that. They're like, "You don't want to do that. That'd be a terrible idea. Cause what if one day you meet the girl who's the perfect woman for you and she wants to have kids with you?" And I'm like, that's simple, you know. She obviously isn't the perfect woman. <laughs> I know I don't want to be a parent. Like, the only thing I remember how to say from French when I took it in high school was, C'est pas mon enfant! Which translates to, it's not my baby. <laughs> I am prepared. But it's weird being 21 and getting a new brother and sister. Because, like, I'm at the age where I shouldn't be getting new siblings, right? I should be accidentally having children of my own. <laughs> And then making my baby a Facebook page. That's what I should be doing at 21. And it's weird because I have other siblings. Like, I have a 20 year old brother, I have a 16 year old sister. And when my dad goes out with us and the twins, people look at us and just think, who done it? <laughs> my family think that's hilarious. <laughs> no. But, like, in the sense, if I ever had a kid, it would be a horrible accident. Me having a vasectomy to me is just like having my seatbelt on when I'm in the car, you know? <laughs> Snip it or take it. <laughs> Except that ticket's a baby. <laughs> it costs a lot more. Uh, but I found that things come in pairs for me, much like the twins. Like, whenever something bad happens, something good always follows it. Like, it was bad news when my dog died, but the good news was it was on garbage day. <laughs> Well, he used to always eat out of the trash, so that's the way he would have wanted it, right? <laughs> or, uh, or it was bad news when my girlfriend accidentally chipped her tooth on an eggshell one morning when I make her breakfast. But the good news is I don't have to make her breakfast anymore. <laughs> that plan almost worked out too well. Nah, my girlfriend's a good sport, but I just don't like it when she yells at me in the car when we're driving. And uh, like on the way here, she's like, you gotta be careful, the roads. And I'm like, it's fine. I am a professional driver. And she's like, you need to stop saying that. You're not a professional driver. You're a pizza delivery boy. <laughs> I'm like, I'm a pizza delivery man, okay? <laughs> because even though I can't grow chest hair or facial hair, I've seen a girl completely naked before. Uh. Yeah, I Googled it. It was awesome. <laughs> Just putting boobs in there everywhere. <laughs> She's fine though. I, I just don't like texting with her. She gets me really worried when we're texting. Like, uh, she'll be, she'll, she sent me a text out of the blue yesterday that said, I have bad news. So I was like, well, what's wrong? But she responded for an hour. Yeah, so the whole time I'm trying to figure out, like, what does I have bad news mean? Because it could be anything, right? It could be, she wants me to see the new Twilight movie with her, or her grandpa's in the hospital. And that would be terrible, right? 
if I had to see the new Twilight. That would be awful. There's no way that's going to happen. But I also don't like texting with her because she's always sending me missed text and then sends like a, the asterisk text after, like, clear everything up. But it's really confusing because, like, a couple days ago, I got a text from her that said, I'm late. Yeah. And I was in Applebee's wondering if I should tell the waiter to hold her appetizers because she meant I'm running late or if I should be getting my plane ticket to France and texting her back, say, Paul, on the phone. <laughs> I said that earlier. <laughs> All right, wrapping things up. We don't have any hockey fans here, do we? Anybody here like hockey? Yeah, no one knows anything about hockey. But the one thing you should know is hockey teams have really weird names. Like, I love hockey, but they have really weird names. So what I did is I took a, a Mad Lib the other day and filled all the hockey team names in it. And this is what I came up with. So you guys have to tell me what you think of it. All right, here we go. I was having a terrible case of the St. Louis Blues until I met this Montreal Canadian. I asked her how old she was because I didn't want to become a Nashville predator. <laughs> My friend told me she was the kind of girl who would make you go Minnesota wild. And before I knew what was going on, she was taking off my Columbus blue jacket. <laughs> I knew right away she was going to make me feel like a real L.A. king by giving me the Dallas Star treatment. First, she slipped off my Toronto Maple Leaf and then reached down for my Buffalo Sabre. <laughs> That's when she asked, have you ever had a Carolina hurricane before? <laughs> If I liked it, she could make me a frequent Philadelphia Flyer. <laughs> but she wasn't worried, because it was a favor of this old Ottawa senator. That's their capital. <laughs> but it was horrible. It felt like it was being done by a Pittsburgh Penguin. <laughs> so I asked if I could take a trip down to her New York Islander. But that's when she shook her head and blocked me with her New York Ranger and said, tonight is not the night you want to get your Detroit Red Wings. Oh, oh, that's a real hockey team name, okay? <laughs> she said, I don't want a Boston brew in your night and end up with a Vancouver Canucks riot on my hands. How about I try a trick passed down to me by an old Florida Panther? A lady who would make you scream in all Washington capitals. It's called a Colorado avalanche. <laughs> now the only thing was she made me promise to tell her when I felt the Tampa Bay Lightning. That way she'd have time to Anaheim duck. <laughs> and I couldn't believe how amazing it was. I gave on the woo like a Phoenix Coyote and squirted like an Edmonton Oiler. <laughs> After she was done, I called in a Chicago Blackhawk because I wanted to win a pet jet out of there. But I'm pretty sure she was actually a New Jersey Devil, and I got worried she gave me the case of the San Jose Sharks, because a couple of days later, I went to take a piss, and I felt the Calgary Flames. <laughs> All right, I'm Tyler Ross, everybody. Thanks a lot. Tyler Ross, thank you very much, Tyler.